This is where the real magic happens. The artwork layer will be different depending on what version of Photoshop you're running. For users with Photoshop CS and CS2, simply place any number of artwork layers in between the garment color folder and the shading folder. This way your art will sit nicely on top of the template. So what I'm going to do now is click on the place art here layer and go file, place. Now we have some artwork set up so I'm just going to dump that in. Okay and then resize this artwork to fit over our template. And there you go, couldn't be any easier than that. For users with Photoshop CS3 and newer, we'll be using the Smart Objects layer labeled as Place Art here. By double clicking on the place art here layer, you will open this new temporary file. In this temporary file you will notice two layers set up. One is the art layer, the other is an art placement guide. If we turn on this art placement guide, it will give us a better idea of where to place our art and how to size it for the finished piece. So let's place in our artwork. So now I'm going to place this art over the hood, I'm going to size it to what I want and we're done, as easy as that. The last thing we have to remember is to always turn off the art placement guide or else this will be hanging over our template which we don't want. So I'm going to turn that off and we'll just save this out. The quickest way to do that is just to hit the X here and close the, the file and save it. So this is why we're using a Smart Objects layer. The Smart Objects layer has a displacement map associated with it. And you'll notice if we zoom in here, you'll see that the, the artwork is actually a bit wrinkled. And this lines up with the actual wrinkles on the garment, which just adds a lot more realism to the template file. You may notice that it's bulging quite a bit over these wrinkles here. So if, if it's too strong and you want to back that off, we simply double click the displacement filter on the place art here layer. Now you see there's a number associated with. The higher the number, the more it's going to warp your art. So let's take this down to 4. Now it's going to ask us to apply our displacement map and that's located in the folder where you downloaded. So let's go to the pullover hood. We're using template front 3 and there's the displacement map folder and the displacement map itself. So now you'll notice that the, the wrinkles are a little bit less defined but it still adds realism to the artwork.